year schedule is in the bulletin, so I encourage you to take a bulletin home, because this year, Christmas and New Year's, they both fall on a Saturday, so it's a little complicated. We will have the Masses for Christmas on Saturday, and then there's a quick turnaround uh, for the Sunday liturgies, which would be after the 25th, the first Sunday after the 25th would be Holy Family, and the tendency would be to think, well, I went to Mass Saturday, I don't have to go to Mass Sunday, but it's two different celebrations. So one is Christmas, the other is the Sunday celebration. So even Christmas Day, in the evening of Christmas Day, we have the vigil for Holy Family. So it's kind of like two Sundays back to back. I, I've counted, we have, in six days, we're gonna have 19 Masses. So uh, that gives you an impression of what it's gonna be like. But uh, take the bulletin, it's going to help you to see the Masses that we have. The same will happen with New Year's and Epiphany. So, Mary, Mother of God, January 1st, January 2nd, which is a Sunday, would be the Feast of the Epiphany of the Lord. Tuesday, December 28th, so that's a Tuesday after Christmas, we will have a special Mass for all the deceased members of our parish, in 2021. So it's a beautiful Mass where we kind of celebrate the life and pray for the deceased of the parish during the whole year, 2021. So we invite you to come. Uh, and even if you didn't have a deceased member in your family, you can still join the community and pray for those who have lost someone in their family in 2021. That will be Tuesday, December 28th at 7 p.m. And couples married 25 years are invited to, re to be recognized by Archbishop Amon. And uh, there are forms in the back table. If you're celebrating uh, that anniversary, you can fill out the form and turn it into one of the ushers or to one of us, and we'll be happy to uh, move it forward. And the office will be closed from Wednesday, December 22nd, through Friday, December 31st, uh, for the Christmas holiday. So I'll be here in the parish, uh, so you can always, my cell phone is listed in the uh, voice message of the parish, So, but the office staff will not be in the office for those days, so keep that in mind. And we're gonna have a Christmas retreat. I told you that Christmas ends with the baptism of the Lord, January 9th, so the day before, January 8th, we're going to have a Christmas retreat or a morning of recollection, and the topic is rediscovering our Catholic treasure. So if, if just keep that in mind, and you'll be hearing more information, and there will be some tickets sold to defray the cost of breakfast and the snacks that we give during the day, just a minimal contribution. So uh, January 8th, uh, we'll begin with the Mass at 8, and then until 1 p.m., rediscovering our Catholic treasure treasures. And we'll have a special celebration for our children. So those who have children, I know some of you have come when we have the three kings, the magi. Uh, this year, because the schedule is so tight, we're going to have a special celebration on January 5th at 5 p.m. So that's a Wednesday. January 5th, 5 p.m., the three kings, the Magi, are going to be coming, and we're going to be celebrated here in the church for all of our children, so keep that day and time in mind. Wednesday, January 5th at 5 p.m. And finally, we will be decorating our church for Christmas on December 22nd. That is the Wednesday at 10 a.m. So as you know, there's a lot involved in changing the church from Advent to Christmas, so if you can come Wednesday, December 22nd, 10 a.m., we'll be here in the church uh, making all the arrangements for our Christmas celebration that Friday and Saturday. So come and help us, and we'll be happy to work together. Let us stand as we conclude our liturgy.